Uh, just a few notes uh, before we get started. One is about uh, doing the uh, deeper, slower breathing and, and about making uh, audible noise. This morning, uh, especially over in the men's section, uh, there seems to be quite a lot of uh, noise going on, various types of uh, noises. Uh, one is, uh, you know, heavy breathing at times. So who's ever doing that, to try to be mindful. And if you can hear yourself breathing, that means other people might be able to hear you hear you breathing. Uh, and so you, know, you can practice that deep breathing, but not to make noise. There's a way of doing it if you're mindful that you can take in a deep, slow breath but without it being audible to you know, anybody else. Uh, and, uh, and I could hear it fall away from up here, and it's probably happening somewhere in, in the back. So that means, uh, uh, although even if that happens, if you know certain noises disturb you, uh, we also use that as part of our own uh, insight into ourselves, and uh, not to allow those things to uh, disturb. But it's just part of uh, being uh, mindful and, and respecting the the space of others. Now, apart from the, the breathing, there's also seems to be lots of other kind of rustling and, of, uh, and various types of uh, noises. And basically, this is because of unmindful movements. If you have to move your body or, or you're going to be standing up, you're going to be shifting your posture or you're going to be uh, taking a drink from a cup or, or something, I mean... There's ways of being mindful, such as, you know, I can put this lid down unmindfully like this. Or I can mindfully put the lid down. Like that. See the difference? <laughs> uh, so that... Uh, that same kind of thing uh, uh, pertains to also like uh, instead of dragging your foot along to to move it, you you pick it up and shift it and put it down mindfully without uh, making you know various uh, unnecessary noises. So, and this is actually a part of the mindfulness practice. That when you're going to move, uh, be aware of the intention. There's always a, an urge or an intention before our movements. And normally we tend to make them uh, fast or in our normal way. Uh, but in the same way you do walking meditation, you know, you slowly lift the foot up. Swing it forward, place it down. You should also make all the movements of your hands and arms and other movements of the body in that same kind of uh, deliberate, slow, mindful way. And there's a, there's a purpose of that. I'll explain more about that uh, uh, later. But it, it helps you to, uh, to see the intention before you do something. And to, to kind of slow down or break that neurotic kind of uh, push into the future, and it also just uh, helps you to to, to be more uh, sort of quiet. So, uh, you know, whenever you're about to to do something or move the body or even there's ways that you can even mindfully. You know, sneeze or cough. When you sneeze, you can hold a nose and then you won't sneeze. <laughs> or you could sneeze and, and make noise. Or uh, in other ways, if you're mindful of these uh, irritating sensations, instead of kind of 
uh, going through it or reacting to it in a, in a kind of a noisy way. There's ways that you can do it uh, more uh, silently. And, and that will make you just to be more, more mindful. And just one last point that, uh, <clears throat> you know, after the second day of meditation or, you know, a lot of you know, various you know, thoughts may come in your mind or you, you, you might just start to get bored or you might start to have doubts or wondering, oh, I'm, I can't do this or, uh, you know, or you might get uh, some other just uh, tired. And, but uh, those are all lies of our mind. And so you shouldn't believe any of them. That means it's just the old, uh, the, the old self with a little ego, uh, you know, that uh, wants to uh, find a way why it, uh, you know, should can bail out or, or stop or, uh, and things like that. But, you know, each person uh, came here because deep down inside, you know, there's something inside of you knows that this is something you do, but on the surface, our old condition uh, habits and self ill yeah, it's threatening to our old way of doing things. So it will uh, come up with all kind of thoughts and reasons and uh, doubts and various things uh, to, uh, to try to make us uh, you know, buy into that or to give up our practice or something. So... Anyway, just be aware of whatever whatever moods come up. Uh, you know, all these are impermanent. All of our moods, thoughts, ideas, uh, emotions. You know, these are just conditioned patterns of the past. And uh, we shouldn't... Uh, we should just try to observe them and, and know what they are. But with mindfulness, if we don't identify with them, they'll, they'll just uh, fall away uh, quite quickly. But if we start identifying with them and saying, yes, that's, that's right, I, I should do this, or that's the way it is, or these people are crazy, or that monk's stupid, or like so many things. So <laughs> that's the... The key to success in meditation is not to buying in to all the the stuff that uh, you know comes up in your mind, especially because uh, you know uh, in a retreat like this, all your other sort of uh, entertainments and things are taken away, so that the mind doesn't have anything else to do. So it it just starts generating all kinds of uh, stuff. Ordinarily, it wouldn't, but it has nothing else to do, recourse to, except for coming up with you know, various types of opinions, ideas, and criticisms, or comparisons, or just uh, getting uh, bored and so on. So again, just these are all things just to be mindful of, and and knowing that you know it takes uh, several days for most of this stuff to to really start settling down. And uh, have a lot of patience, and uh, just trust that, that the practice uh, works. Okay, I'll go ahead. And, and so, with the interviews, uh, there's not going to be any. You're going to have to tell it your own time. For those who signed up for interviews, you're going to have to keep track of the time, uh, basically yourself. But uh, for the first ones, when I leave uh, just before, about 10 minutes before 3, then at least the first person will know. Check the posture. Take a few three-part breaths to settle in to the present moment. 